So I'm going to throw some pieces off of the hump today. So I'm starting with, I want to say probably about eight pounds of clay. I'm going to throw some tea bowls. And for those I use about a pound of clay. So I just kind of roughly measure that with my hand, knowing how much will fit in my palm. And I cut it out by putting an indent with my lower part of the heel of my hand. So I'll only be working with this top part of clay here. First, I'm going to open this up and then open the floor. Take my sponge and compress my floor and compress my rim. Next, I'm going to pull my wall up. compress my rim again So then once I have my wall pulled up, I go in and take all the water out of the inside. Smooth up the outside. I like to take all the slurry off of the in outside and the inside. go in and shape it. I take my sponge to do that. So you can see here now it's taken on a little bit more of a form. So I've just cleaned up my rim and cleaned up the exterior of the pot with my rib. Now I'm gonna go in and just alter this a little bit. I slow my wheel down. Doing a little bit of surface design on here this piece off of the hump of clay. So now I'm going to get ready to trim this. I'm going to start by getting this centered. So 
So now this is completely centered. I'm going to put my logs of clay on. I'm going to set them up as like a tripod, being sure to hold the pot on the opposite side so it stays into place. Pushing down the clay into the wheel head. I use a couple different trimming tools. I have a larger loop tool and a smaller loop tool. I'm going to start off with the larger one and just kind of clean up the base here so I know where I'm going to set my foot. So now I'm going to use the smaller one and I'm going to do a kind of a narrow foot on this Unomi or T-bowl. So here's my inside circle my outside And then take off some of the inside and when you're trimming you really want to take your time because when you're taking away clay you really can't put it back so you don't want to trim through your pot do a little bit at a time give it a tap and see how hollow it is So now I'm going to do a little bit of decorating with my slip trailer to kind of accentuate some of these areas in here. I'm going to use my little slip trailer to test it out. So now I have my tea bowls here and I'm going to go in and glaze these on the inside with a glossier white glaze. So I have my white glaze here. I'm going to mix this up. Give it a good mix so that you don't have any chunks of glaze on the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit in my cup. Make sure whatever you're using to pour your glaze in and out of pots, it need, needs to have a sharp edge so it'll cut the drip. So I'm going to take my piece here and I'm going to pour it in. And I'm going to 
quickly turn it out. Like so. Hold it there until it stops dripping. And then I'll flip it upside down and let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I can go in and glaze the outside. So now that the interior is completely dry, now I'm gonna take and glaze the outside in a white satin glaze. I'm gonna hold the rim and then dunk this for about three seconds and hold it up and let it finish dripping and set it back down and let it finish drying. I don't want this to drip and I want to have really good control so I'm going to get all the excess glaze off and then add just a little swipe of color. Finally, I'm going to go in and wipe off any of the excess glaze that may have beaded up on any of the wax resist that I had painted on. And that's going to prevent the pot from getting stuck on the shelf during the final glaze firing. Being careful to not smudge. You want to also not grip your rim because you can chip off your glaze. It's a nice clean sponge. Delicately wipe it off. 